Okay, I'm okay, we'll go into session. Okay, I need to write this. So we have pictures to show us. This is what you no, showed last year. This is the, the, the community right. where you know it's flooded. And I think you can see it pretty good in the, the picture. The west side, the bridge down yeah. across from the tiny right. office. Right. But you can go down there and have a look at that in time. The other picture. Ready? Yes. Same one. Same one. Next one. This is down in the basement, and I don't see if you can see the lighting, I can see it better. But all the dark spots is water. Yeah. That's where it's leaking out of the foundation under the building. And there's a shot, a long shot. This is about a 16-foot area where this is all leaking. Which side's that on? This west side. The west side. Yeah, on the west side, the exterior wall. The crawl space under there have, well, I think about seven or eight feet across. And there's several pictures of the water, and just to show you that there's one of the long ones you can see all the way, about 16 foot area. And more than that, go to the two more. Which, one more, which is the floor, and I don't know how well I can't see it from here, but this is that entire area is wet. But now, like I said, it's about a seven or eight foot space that is just so pretty bad. So. I don't know. <laughs> no, and why it's only in that area. There's obviously something happened underground where the mm -hmm. clay or something is now catching all that water and feeding it right to this area. But it's right there by the steps as you come in on the west side entrance, on the southwest. It's right there. Mm -hmm. But fix that, since that's already below ground, you're going to have to dig, or somebody's going to have to dig probably 10 feet on our ground just to get to and see what's going on. I, know, I imagine they would seal it, but then if you seal it, I'm afraid you're just going to shove the water some somewhere in another section. You just, I have the same problem in my house. We put a two foot footing, three foot deep, never had any water again, concrete, I guess. It, you can't get that deep and get in there. Well, this is already. <clears throat> yeah, it's already three or so feet below the ground. Yeah. If you dig out from the edge of if that, you this far, yeah. it'll be dry. Yeah. yeah. Who does stuff like that? that that's where I'm at. I don't know. Mansell Mans Mans did mine. That fixed it. I mean, that was back in the days when Garland was there. Should we have a look at it? Or no. I don't even know where to go visit. I'd say I have Mansell look at it. I well, you remember when Paul Underwood was here from Mid Continent? Uh, he said if you dig it out, they'll fix it. Mid Continent would? Yeah. If we dig it out, Mid Continent. Phil can dig it out. But he said they, they don't have to remove all the landscaping there on there. Well, well you saw did. what he did to my. He did when he. Well, you saw what he did to snow. my yard out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at digging. But I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's the only one we talked, you know, he came he and looked at it. And he never sent anybody out to go down the stairs or into the uh, crawl yeah. space. But he just said that it's, it's foundation and mm -hmm. he said, you know, it's like uh, they do work work, but they don't do the foundation. You right. know, you have to have another contract to do that and then they'll do the Right. I don't, I don't know any foundation guys at all or and, even uh, where to begin to call to find. Because guys who pour sidewalk don't pour foundation. No, no. And uh, can you see the horizontal line in that basement anywhere? Near yeah, the this is this is the pictures don't show it as well as I'd like, but right there were the two. They they poured the main foundation and then they pour on top of that to pour the structure. Exactly. The and it's coming in, coming in right, right there along that whole line. You just got to stop the water from getting in to get there. But it's such a wide the the. The excavation is going to be extreme. They're going to have to pull landscaping out. Kind of you know, the, the shrubs are going to have to come yeah. out and then be replaced. And, so, and there are the sprinkler lines, which aren't aren't going to be in the way you need to say, but where they're going to be digging, they, they're likely to be on top of them. They're going to have to to get in that close. So, I mean, the, the devastation would be immense. Yeah. 
and then not taking care of it is a little worse. I don't know. say that. And it's, it's, well, it's, 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 it's been going on for over a year. Plant trees. Yeah. In the beginning, yeah. we were thinking it was the condensation from the from the air conditioner. And of course, no rain for two years. You know, we had one little rain and the carpet was wet, so well, it wasn't the condensation from that unit. And uh, and then uh, Underwood came out last summer. They're also the ones that does the tuck point. Tuck point anyway. And uh, that's what he theorized that there was it was hydraulic pressure coming up and so on and so forth. And at the time, I said, "Can you do it?" And he said, "If you if you dig it out, have it dug out, we'll fix it." So threw my shovel away. Yeah, I did. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. But uh, I mean, it's going to have to be exposed to fix. You really think they're going to have to attempt it deep? That's pretty deep. That's the but that's the bottom of the foundation, okay? It depends upon how bad it is on the outside. I can't see the outside, obviously, but I can see what's done on the inside, and the, and the erosion is going to be greater on the outside. Mm -hmm. And there's a drain there. There's a drain there, and I that I plugged that drain last year to make sure that yeah. we weren't having leakage right. inside the wall. Because last year, with the little rain we got, we didn't have nearly this much mm -hmm. water down there when I crawled down. It was a much smaller area, about five feet, and you could see it. <laughs> And we thought it might be a leak in the drain or maybe a water pipe broke and it was just seeping into that room. But, but not. And for some reason, the water is backing up into that area. I mean, for it to build up and put that much pressure that deep. And I'm worried about how to dig that deep because that much water inside on the floor might just be coming up up from underneath, yeah. It might not be seeping off the wall. It might be if it's coming underneath the foundation in that area, then they're going to have to stop that to keep it from undermining it on the bottom. But you can see those lines coming in on that horizontal line where the you can see it up on the top where you can see there and all that all the yeah. drag marks down is all water coming from that one area. But the floor, what I was trying to show, is that that's a seven foot area of dirt and it's wet all the way across saturated all the way across. And that's a lot of water to saturate that moisture. Mm -hmm. Which is my fear that maybe it's somehow coming underneath. But like you said, how does it get that? I don't think it would if you put that footing around it. Unless you have an underwater ground. We thought we had major water. problems too and that just totally yes. shut it off when we did that. Is that something we should have Mansell look at and give us some ideas? Or yeah. I mean he's going to do some I mean, that's the only one I know. There's the basement guy. I don't know his name. But I mean, you probably get uh, Mike Sayers, brother. Does, I mean, he doesn't do foundation work. He does ceiling and stuff. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's like the brother, but foundation guy. And some of you know, yeah. like the perma job. Um, maybe they would have. He did the oh. basement there at that house, just that west of the. Yeah. I've, I've seen some of their work. They were their oh. foundation. He's a basement. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking they might have somebody to call me because I'm just thinking you'd have to have They could drill through there and put stuff in behind it. But well, and I'm thinking also maybe they need a French drain in there and drain what water from the edge, you know, to the curb. This isn't going on anywhere else. No. No. I've this is this room. I crawled the whole building and it's not going anywhere. That's the room that you okay. used to occupy. Downstairs. Where the water coming around where the, water. the heating and air conditioning unit was. And there's quite a bit in there now, too. I'm so tumble about that. Yeah. We did the same thing with our green bins that had pits on them. We drilled through and put all kinds of stuff in behind them, and they'd still leak. Finally, we just put a big footing around the whole thing. So, <laughs> just can't get apart. Well, I would say you call John and have him look at it, and then maybe he has somebody to find it. Yeah. But as I said, the Underwood said if you dig it out and expose it, we'll fix it. So call him again. If that's something you want to turn the loose on, try John first. 
Lancel might be able to give you some direction. Or he might say, we fix this easy. I hope that's what he says. And Garland knows quite a bit about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if he needs to. All right. And also along the lines, uh, I guess because it was a need about a per diem for a phone, since I use my phone as a business phone. I don't have a desk where I take calls. And if he played it, wouldn't have mentioned a page or something, but. Does uh, the county funds, are they just kind of great, but what he pays private? Or? He could get a government rate if we get him a separate cell phone just for the county. But he wouldn't be able to keep his, his number then. Are you opposed to carrying two phones? <laughs> I don't like carrying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not tired of it. I mean, you don't have to carry it when you're basically here. Right. Well, the other thing we discussed is just a, a, like a 50% of... What is your bill? I'm you having to switch my service, so it's going to, I have no idea what it's going to be. But everywhere I've checked, they want about 80 bucks for a, yeah. the new services. Do you know what a county phone is? While she's looking, I was interested in uh, with all the snow we had of uh, looking for a, a larger snow removal device, possibly a riding. I'd like to get a riding mower with a front end blower attachment on it. So I found one online actually, an older John Deere and the mower 600. And the, Front attachment, the snow blowers, four, which is a pretty good price. Well, if you have a, to fit down the sidewalk so we don't tear the grass. We don't tear the grass. Up. Yeah, it's only four foot front end below. And I do have. I did save some of that uh, side. I sit. I'm pulling sod out still, but <laughs> I'm not sure it's going to take. I think that's probably just destroyed. No, on the uh, capital gains that I got for this year, I was going to buy that web that web, and I already got it. And I saved a couple hundred dollars, so I still have some of that left. Well, it makes sense. I mean, have something here rather than waiting on the road and bridge to come. But then they sat there for a couple of years before it's used again. Yeah, that's the <laughs> well, that's the whole point of the, yeah. you know, forget it when with the ride and roll, I'll use that every year. Yeah. And maybe you can sell that. I wonder if the order we have to the EMS, we call somebody wants to work I wonder if the off road vehicle that we have, if you could, if it's, if the wheelbase is too wide, I mean, you'd be welcome to use it if, if somebody could attach the blower to it. And it would work. It might help, but I'm really trying to get a riding mower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of all right there. And I can't justify going out and spending 3000 to buy a brand new one. That's just kind of silly. But I did find a used one. Several of them in the $500. Does it have warranties and all that, or are you just buying as is? It's just as is from somebody. What brand did you say it was? Uh, the, the one I actually wanted was a John Deere because it will it it has the mounts for the for the snowboard attachment. And of course I saw that I just saw those on Craigslist, so whether they're still there or not, I don't know. There's something I could Well I'd for. research it and I'm not opposed to it. <coughs> uh, the average like we pay fifty four dollars a month for Doris's cell phone and Ryan's is forty nine. Just I think that's the cheapest I'm going to be able to get them now. Apparently everything's gone way up. Mm -hmm. 
Call Mansell. I'm going to call Mansell, and I'm, I may look at Permajack just for a, I don't have to have anybody local, but they might send somebody out just to get a second bid. But I'm not sure anybody can give a real accurate bid until you actually take it out of there and see what it is. See what it is. So I'll call and have that and see what I can get done next week. All right. Yeah. You, might, you might want to at least talk to Sailor. You know, he might at least run into enough. He's fixing them all the time. He, he might, he might at least have some background. He may not be able to do it, but he might be able to, to tell you about another one like it that they fixed. All right. Level three to range six, level four. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. We increase uh, Nick Loffer from range six to step three to range six, step four. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And the only other thing, uh, I should have a proposal from the hospital on the building to uh, present to you next week. Good. But yeah, I asked Nick for uh, accounts receivables from you guys. I never have got that. Accounts or receivable seen one or seeing some, what your billing is or how much money you're collecting or not collecting. Oh, oh, on the EMS side. Yeah. Okay. That that comes from Misty, and that we should have that. Uh, I'll see what what the holdup is on that. The. Uh, it, it's kind of. Uh, I don't want to say it. It's. Uh, Myself, Joe One, will be headed to Dapper for Green Gulf for training. We'll be over there. It will be full service. Uh, 200 and 202 will be coming over after a little bit. You know, in the hospitals here last week, I was I was talking about you know the uh, number of patients that we transport anymore that don't have insurance, and it's just becoming more and more and more the case. And uh, so I mean, yeah, it, we'll, we'll still get that information, but. Um, uh, that's where I'm thinking that um, it's not going to be a um, popular role to do, but I, I think we need to get more aggressive in, in going after the collection. You know, whether, the, the sad part is, you know, when, when we transport somebody to Wichita and they're self pay, I don't know how they people will possibly ever pay their debt. 
you know, because they're, they're going to a place where they're they're going to they're, they're likely to see twenty, forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of debt, and if they're paying for that all out of their pocket, they and and they probably don't have any insurance to start with for a purpose. I mean, for a reason. And so we're we're probably still going to be hard pressed to collect some of them them debts. And, uh, but we still need to, to get you the yeah, information so, so we can show you what we're. What's the cost for right now? Around a thousand bucks. Some of those people would rather pay the county off than they live in the hospital. Right? I mean, that might yeah. give me a chance. Yeah. And, and the quicker we can go about it, uh, the better the chance. First one yeah. in line, but then yeah. tag on yeah. hospitals. I mean, they're, they're good at it. I mean, they'll, they'll get that bill before you. Yeah. When you walk out of the, you, you, you show up at home and in the mail your bills are right because they they know at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So first one, first come first serve. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll get you a, a copy of that. And I'll, I'll visit with Misty. And, uh, I mean, I, I I think we ought to see something at least once a month just to see what's so we know what's, what's going coming on. in. Yeah. Now you know that that's where the you know the hospital got uh, kind of took some hits for. Or not well, the hospital board, and and the problem is um, is the way those funds come in is is so funky that at any given time it's it's extremely hard uh, <coughs> for anybody that doesn't really study the the darn thing in great detail to know where you're at, and so unless your administrator is really on top of things, and I'm talking about a hospital that has tremendous. Cost associated with it. It's 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 no easy task to to keep a, a pulse on where you're at. Um, I I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but uh, you know because you you constantly would have to look at, at what your uh, your patients that you had and what their insurance was and what the likelihood of them paying. And you could go through a spell. I mean, I, I went through a spell where I, I took four out of six that didn't have insurance. Mm -hmm. But then four days. Well, that's probably four out of six. They just aren't paying. Yeah. They're not going to pay a dime. Um, and, and then this last, just the last few days, we've transported uh, four that all had insurance. And so you can, you know, you can hit a spell where you you look really good, mm -hmm. and then you look really bad. Uh, but a lot of times it's just because of uh, whether they have insurance or not. But I'll, I'll, I'll get to that, and, and we'll just we'll just plan on starting to do that with uh, uh, with with a month of thing. The, uh, and I don't know how we could we could do this. Other, than, you know, I, I'd even like to show you a snapshot of our uh, even our budget in general. But uh, some of our bills are paid um, by the courthouse, you know, by by Nita's office, and so you know we, we don't even have a task on an oversight on all of them. Some of them go directly to. To need and they get paid up here, so that's not entirely. If we give you a snapshot of ours, it yeah. wouldn't be. It wouldn't be exactly correct. Okay, thank you. Right, thank thank you. you. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. I'd like to call for executive session for non-elected personnel for 20 minutes. I uh, make a motion to go into executive session with Lisa Nita yes, for right. 30 minutes. Second. 30? Or is that what you said? 20. 20. 20. 20. Sorry. I always have <laughs> 20. I don't want to be right, wrong. So we're going to do 20. Okay. <laughs> motion to, that we go into executive session for 20 minutes to discuss non elected personnel. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion to carry. So we have anything else? No. Okay, we're adjourned.